What it do, YouTube? Man, it's just a good day today. Happy Thursday, to everybody. We finna, we finna, we finna, we finna turn up, man. We finna watch, we finna watch uh, the funniest predators. <laughs> this shit goofy as hell, man. We have to bring this one to y'all, man. Man, make sure y'all follow our Instagram too. We just started uh, this. Um, I'm, I'm gonna put it actually. I'm gonna put it below uh, uh, this right here. Yeah. Right now, you want Let's go crazy, man. Let's get it. All right, man. Listen, and we got all the wolves right up too. So big smoke. Exactly. You already know, big smoke. Yeah. 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 Shit nasty. So, <laughs> all right, we finna get to it. Let's get it. Is this some kind of setup or something? What I'm mean? just on my way to the beach. He's Michael what? Willis, what? screen name generic white male. He's on. Hold on, wait, I gotta go back a little bit. What the fuck he said? <laughs> he ain't going to no motherfucking beach. Hold on, what the fuck well, is he I'm just a male. He's almost 50 years old and he's been chatting online with a girl who calls herself Jolanda and who says she's 15. He lies to her about his age, typing, I'm 30. You probably the, don't want me around you. What difference does that make, though? God, though. Bill what the fuck? And he says, we have to keep us a secret because of the age difference. Younger girls like you don't come along often. I'd want you again and again. Oh, 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 This man crazy. He sent a picture. This nigga going to jail for a hundred years. How old they said she was? Fifteen? To the girl who told him she was fifteen. And how did you meet her? Well, of course on the line. You act like I should know that. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, it's a common thing now. Just to meet young girls online. Well, meet any women online. Then I remind generic hell. white male that Jolanda told him she was 15. What? No way. Okay, either this guy was telling the truth, or he is a very, very good actor. You know, I have the transcript. He's been doing this shit for years. Of your conversation with oh, Jolanda. You know what? I, I don't want this cookie. Of course he doesn't want that cookie. Look at that physique. Got good check. Cute check. He may be a nonce, but this man's no liar. I just want to get to the beach. Come here, just one second. Look at his shorts! What the <laughs> black male won't be going to the beach today. As he heads out the back, he stumbles off the porch, right into the arms of the Fort Myers Police Department. Come on, Andy, let's go. Oh, he's getting out of his spring. Look at Oh, my God. Oh, that shit crazy. That shit crazy. Z is a bitch. Hold on, I'm going back. What do you no think? liar. I just want to get to the beach. Come here, just one second, <laughs> sir. <laughs> but generic Bro, white male won't be going to the, beach. Going to the beach today. As he heads out the back, he stumbles off the, the beach. porch <laughs> right into the what arms the of the though? Fort Myers Close Police the Department. The police she on his take ass. down to the ground, she on the ground. In Florida, where it's relatively easy to get a plan. permit to carry a concealed weapon. These officers aren't taking any chances. Willis was brought before a judge, but the only thing he was found guilty of was being built good and soliciting a minor. <laughs> right, so hello and welcome to today's video. This time we're going to be looking at a few of the funniest predators ever to appear on Dateline NBC's to guy who's some kind of weird mix between Freddie Mercury and <laughs> Everybody Loves funny. Raymond. He loves gambling, gets triggered by warm beer, and he's not gay. I'm just saying. He's 46-year-old Anthony Palumbo, and he's brought a gift. We've hired an 18-year-old actor to play the part of the young teen. He's been a boy. Hey. <laughs> mm -hmm. Come on in. Awesome. All right. <laughs> Dude, what is You brought the ball. Oh, good directions. Online in an AOL gay chat room calling himself, Hi buddy, what's up? He tells the decoy who's pretending to be a 14-year-old boy that he's horny. Mm -hmm. Then the 46-year-old says, I want to be top. Oh. What be wrong with these men? That man? Shit, that's disappointing, bro. That that's disappointing. He said, I'm so horny to a, a nigga, yeah. to another boy. That's okay. crazy. You want to do a raw? Raw? Oh. Oh. <laughs> What's that? That shit not even funny, no, though, bro. to be honest. Let's put some beer on that. That's a nasty ass nigga. Man, that's it. You need some help. Boy, you nasty as a bitch. Ass, now he's here, beer in hand, asking the decoy several times to put it in the refrigerator. <laughs> put that in the fridge. Yeah, I'll put it in the bed. All right. I'll relax. I'm just a little nervous. I'm nervous, nervous too. <laughs> the decoy is always so nice to the predator. If they ever bring the show to the UK, I hope they get the decoys to be kids with asbos that just absolutely roast the predator when they arrive. Hi there. 
What do you fucking say? Um, hello? And what? Um, I wanted to ask you to a party. I'm 13. Oh, right. And she's 11, you nonce. Forget jail time. What the? Who's going to risk being roasted by a child on national television for being a nonce? My yeah. excuse to come here, I went to Atlantic City. I just don't know. Put that in the refrigerator. I don't know. Just chill out. That's it. All right. We'll see what happens. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just nervous. You have to. That's all right. If I was, you could put that in the refrigerator anytime. Okay, don't get drunk with that. <laughs> I won't. You still talking about the warning? Get drunk with it though. So why'd you need the cover story? To I said the that. That's it. I'll see my That's brother. Yeah. yeah, but who did you have to give that to as a cover story? No, mm -hmm. my brother is home. My other brother. Right. And I said, I gotta go to Atlantic City. Yeah, yeah. But instead, you came here. I stopped by to go there. So, so you like to gamble? You just yeah. said that's your cover you story. A little bit of a gamble coming in here tonight. No, I just stopped by. But you said you were nervous. <laughs> yeah, because I was going to Atlantic City and it was dark. What the fuck? He nervous to me. They finna get his ass. It's awful. It's awful. Dark and I know you see a drive at dark. It's a weird excuse. But it checks out. He ain't even talking right no more. He can't even. Yeah, drive it. I'm not a driver. Exactly. What about visiting a boy who's home alone? Does that make you nervous? Well, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Good. I just wanted to just good. say hi. It was not good. Yeah. And drop off a package. It was penis. Yeah. I had beer. Have you been drinking tonight? No, not at all. You can smell my breath. Not at all. It's okay. I don't need to do that. He tells me several times he thought the boy was 18. But in the chat log, the decoy tells him two different times that he's 14. How old are you? 39. 39. Oh my god. You said you were 35. I'm 35. 39. <laughs> what the hell? 36. Which one is oh, it? Oh, bro. This nigga said I said I was 39. No, I mean 35. Okay. He said 13. <laughs> Which one is it? 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 You asked him in your chat if he was top was or that? bottom. What does that mean? What the hell? Did I ask that? I don't remember that. Are that. you top or bottom? I'm horny, you said. <laughs> I was just fooled around. <laughs> well, just fooled around. Why are you so concerned about he knowing whether or not he, he was real. Real. Just joking. Just joking. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> what made you decide to come over here and meet a teenage boy after uh, this sexually explicit conversation? I thought it was like I wanted to... Hang out with someone like a friend. Like I thought he was like eighteen, something like that. It wasn't. I'm not really gay or anything. <laughs> I just said. What? Weird how he's being more defensive of being gay. You ain't even acting him that though. Like, being an actual nonce. Well, this isn't about gay. No, I'm straight. just saying. I'm straight. Nobody I just cares say. what adults do. No, I'm just know? saying. But when you involve somebody who's fourteen, that's when it becomes an issue. How old are you? You asked. Fourteen. I told you that already. You say, K, maybe okay. Right. But well, why do that? What's the motive here? It's, Explain it to me. No, you're saying. right. No, you're right. It's stupid. It's not. It's an no. illegal thing. Yeah, I know. I did a stupid thing. You're trying to rush it. Do you ever uh, watch much television? Sometimes, once in a while. I'm not so much of a TV person. Well, I'm Chris Hansen, and I work for Dateline NBC, and we're doing a story on adults who try to meet kids online. Oh, I like wouldn't want to be, um... Oh, boy. And you can walk right out of the door. You can't. Okay. He quickly Shut leaves the house and is startled by the police. The next nonce on our list, this guy walking down the drive, is 27-year-old Jeffrey Stacey. If you shut your eyes, you think Hanson was interrogating Mickey Mouse himself, but this unapologetic predator couldn't be less innocent. He's been chatting online about having oral and anal sex with a girl he thinks is 15. What's wrong with that? He asked the girl if she will be naked when he shows up. I'm gonna go up and get ready, okay? Look at him. Okay. Wait at the bar for like five minutes and I'm gonna be out. Okay? In the house like that. Okay. 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 When I come out and confront him, do me a favor and uh, just have a seat right over there on the other side of the bar. Thought How's it going? Alright. Did you find a place to park okay? Yeah. What's your plan for tonight? Nothing really. Nothing really. Like so many others, he says he wasn't doing anything wrong. You ask her if she's horny. What's wrong with that? You ask if she does anal. What? It's a question. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds, sounds like Mickey Mouse. It's a question. Because horny is... Bro said it's a question. It's a you question. Crazy. I'm going to start saying that it's a question. I know, but you're asking a question. The glass is being in there. To identify <laughs> themselves 
as an underage girl. And she was talking. I don't see the internet and real life are two different things. Why is what says on the like internet that? doesn't mean that's what I really think. Well, that would be easier to believe, Jeff, if you didn't show up here tonight, where you thought exactly. a young girl right. was home alone. No, I really didn't. Well, I know she was Why would you be here? I swear his squeaky voice was making Chris Hansen start speaking squeaky as well. No, I really didn't. Well, I know she was Why would you be here? I know she was Why would you be here? <laughs> oh, I love it. I mean, I knew she was alone, but that didn't mean much to me. You're an adult. She's a child. Okay. There are laws protecting said, okay. okay. Like, Do you get the, why teen girls at a certain age cannot give consent legally? Yes. When I tell him who I am, I'm Chris Hansen, and I'm a reporter for Dateline NBC, oh. and we're doing a story on adults who try to meet teens on the internet. Mm -hmm. He has Did nothing more to say. Sheriff Office, get your hands up, get on the ground! While just about every man interrogated denies he was looking for sex with a minor, this man, screen named single TX guy for fun, seems to admit it. Tell me what kind of trouble you're in. Probably jail. No, what, what did you do wrong? I showed up to solicit a minor. For what? I guess sex. Sex. Then single TX guy for fun says he was really only going to talk with a teenager. So the detective asks him again. I'm not just coming to meet you. What happens, happens. That's the way I look at it. Okay, so there was a possibility that could have happened. Could have? Could have. Sorry. When the 27-year-old finds out he's going to jail... You're going to be taken to Dark County Jail? Please don't. I'm sorry. I didn't know. He threatens to kill himself. I really am just going to split my f***ing throat. Relax, right? No, I'm just going to kill myself. Put me in jail and I'll hang myself. I don't care. I just set them so long that I don't even want to do all this. The detective takes off the handcuffs so the man can... That's the stuff they like to play, though. They like to play that mental that mental part so they go in that mental institution. That's crazy. That's crazy as a bitch. Try to play sad now. Nah. his statement, he grabs the pen and makes a half-hearted attempt to stab himself. Put hand behind your back. You better behave, right? Was it a threat so that we would back off, so that we would feel sorry for him, so that we wouldn't come down on him as hard? I don't know what it was. What's clear, says the detective, is that this man and the others like him have backed themselves into a corner and are looking for a way out. Okay, that is all for today. They crazy. Whoa. They be doing some crazy stuff, bro. That's crazy. That shit. Let us know in the comments what y'all think about predators in general. Yeah, what y'all think about predators? How y'all feel about that shit? That shit was crazy. They be making some dumb excuses, don't they? Who was just my cry like he that? He said, it's just a question. <laughs> Bro, see, I was going to the beach. Start acting like a baby. He said, I was going to the beach. He said, I was on my way to the beach. He said, can I just go to the beach? And what he said? He said, he said, 39? No, I said, I'm 45. That's true. He said, yeah, 29 and 45. Yes, bro, he didn't decide which one he wanted.